The last question um, that we're going to look at here is AS2 January 2010 and this is um, the one which was just done this year and it is um, the new spec. So figure 1.1 shows graphs of displacement against time for two waves A and B. I don't know if you can see the whole thing on there or not but this one here is A and this smaller one here is B. And so you've got displacement on this axis and time on this axis. It says state the amplitude of A. So A is a taller one. Have we look at that? So that's from the rest position to the top of a crest. So that's going to be four centimeters. You can see there from the graph. Uh, the next question then says, <clears throat> the next question then says, calculate the frequency of wave A. So if we have a wee look at that, from here we've got a time. Just be careful, it's in milliseconds, which is by 10 to the minus 3. We can work out a time period by looking at one complete wave, which is that. And one complete wave takes you to 8 milliseconds. So you know that the time period of wave A is 8 milliseconds. And therefore the frequency is 1 over the time period, which is 1 over 8 by 10 to the minus 3. And whenever you do that calculation, you end up with an answer of 125 hertz. Don't forget about the 10 to the minus 3. It's a very easy thing to forget about. And the answer comes out as 125 hertz. The next question says, are the graphs useful in classifying the waves as transverse? Explain your answer. Um, now, the I have no answer to this, but no uh, specimen or uh, answers from SIA for this, but figure 1.1 shows graphs of displacement against time for two waves A and B um, and it doesn't tell you anything about how they are, are displaced from their rest position if they're displaced in a longitudinal direction or a, sorry, a parallel direction to the direction of the waves travel or in a perpendicular direction. So really I'm going to write here that the answer is no um, and the reason is because we don't know the direction of displacement. of the particles in A and B. Um, so we don't know if they are in a, dir a direction which is parallel or perpendicular to the direction of travel. So we can't tell that from the graph. All we can tell is about their displacement. And of course particles in a you know in a longitudinal wave could be displaced by different amounts in either direction like that. So waves A and B are not in phase. Explain what is meant by phase. <clears throat> so again I haven't got a model answer for this but what I'm going to say is um, phase is uh, so the phase difference is the um, how much a wave um, how much a wave lags or um, what do we say moves in front of moves in front of another I think this question is asking what does in phase mean and in phase means that every particle um, in each wave is doing exactly the same thing. At the same time. So I'm not just sure what that question's asking or what they were asking for there. I think the question is really asking what does in phase mean? And that means that the two ways are doing exactly the same thing at the same time. And if you thought your answer wasn't that clear, you could say then, um, when there's a crest wave A, then a crest wave B also or something. And try and clarify your answer a little bit better. And then the last part of the question says, what is the phase difference between A and B? So we have a look there at the diagram. Um, there you can see that the 
uh, that both of these waves here have got a time period of 8 milliseconds, okay? And you can see that uh, by the time wave B, there's, there's it passing through 2 seconds, 2 milliseconds, whereas this one here is um, at the same position at naught. So it's going to take 2 milliseconds for it to get over to the same position. Um, so that means that this one must be 2 milliseconds behind. So you have to compare what's 2 milliseconds as a ratio of the complete time period of the wave. And the complete time period of the wave is 8 milliseconds and this is 2 milliseconds behind. So 2 milliseconds over 8. So A lags B by 2 over 8 which is a quarter of a wavelength or a time period. And that's a quarter then of either 360 degrees, which is 90 degrees, or a quarter of 2 pi radians, which is equal to pi over 2 radians. Now the question's asking you there for your answer in degrees, so the answer is 90 degrees.